Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to another dinner's recipe video. Today I'm super excited to share with you some convenient and affordable healthy options for your family. So yes, usually I share a lot of budget friendly meal ideas, but let's be honest, I don't always go super extreme with my grocery budget. Sometimes I'm looking for convenient and affordable for my busy, busy weeks. I see you if you are someone who is out there working a ton of hours, who has very little time. Sometimes our convenience is worth more than our money dollars. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you a ton of easy recipes that I have made for dinners, for lunches, for our busy weeks. And I really hope that these ideas inspire you for when you have a busy week, you have some ideas in your back pocket to pull out and have some delicious meals at home. Tonight's recipe is orange cauliflower with a side of tofu and some rice. And if you are gluten-free, I'm gonna share with you the option that I use because this orange sauce, after I purchased it, I realized it was not gluten-free. Now, I do not have celiacs. I just have a high gluten intolerance, so I try my very best to stay away from gluten as much as possible. It's still very new to me. It's only been about a month and a half, so I'm still learning. But the first thing that I do is get some rice going in the Instant Pot. That just takes about 12 minutes in your pressure cooker Instant Pot, whichever that you have. And then there's my husband being really silly on this evening. When it comes to convenient and affordable meals, these are options that I'm looking for that are fast. I'm looking for meals under 30 minutes that don't take a lot of time. A lot of times it's using frozen vegetables like this one is a steamable cauliflower. It's using tofu. It's using my air fryer. It's using my instant pot. A lot of different options to really speed up the process. These are ways that I can cook in my kitchen and make nice, affordable, healthy meals that might not be extremely budget friendly, but they're still cost effective. Plus, they're still way cheaper than going out to eat. So a thing of tofu, a thing of frozen veggies, and some rice really isn't all that expensive. Plus it adds some room in my grocery budget so I can splurge on some more fun, convenient meals, and that's what we really love to do. So if you don't have an air fryer, you can definitely throw these into your oven. I was having all sorts of issues getting the trays into the air fryer in this video. I apologize for that. But if you don't have an air fryer, pop them in your oven at about 425 degrees, top rack, and roast them, and they will be perfection. I do put a little bit of cornstarch on my tofu to make it a little bit crispy and then the rice just takes about 10 minutes 12 minutes for me and then I put some sauce over the top like I said I do do gluten-free so I use this barbecue sauce and it's amazing so you can use either option depending on what you prefer I'm super excited for tonight's dinner because it is from Green Chef. If you have not tried Green Chef out, I have been talking about it for months and we are obsessed. When it comes to affordable and convenient, this is right up my alley. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company with a variety of dishes for all lifestyles, including vegan, hello, vegetarian, paleo, and keto. The recipes are super quick and easy to follow with step-by-step -step instructions, chef tips, and photos to guide you right along. And my favorite thing is recreating these recipes because I like to save the recipe cards to keep me inspired and of course to recreate these meals, especially the ones we really, really love. Everything is handpicked and delivered right to your door, so convenience is key. Let Green Chef do the shopping for you and all you have to do is hop online, place your order, and you don't even have to run to the store that week. We personally love Green Chef and have been using it for months. We like it for date nights. Also on our debt-free journey, it was very helpful in making meals at home versus going out to eat and feeling like we were at a high-end restaurant. The meals are super convenient for us and on really busy weeknights. I love using Green Chef and knowing that I can come home to a really delicious meal without running through the drive-thru. You can go to greenchef.us slash runningonplants125 and use the code runningonplants125 to get $125 off plus free shipping on your first box. You are not going to want to miss this wonderful deal from Green Chef, so make sure you check them out. 
You can click the link below. Like I said, go to greenchef.us slash running on plants 125. Use my code running on plants 125 to get $125 off plus free shipping on your first box. We had smell a vision where you guys could smell my kitchen right now. This Green Chef meal is out of this world. We personally love spicy flavors. I know that in the beginning of my plant based journey, I literally seasoned everything with salt, but I do like seasonings. I just feel like I get really lazy when it comes to seasonings, and I feel like Green Chef really helps me kind of go outside of my bubble and figure out what goes with what. We have recreated many of these meals in the past, and we love them. I love to keep my recipe cards so that way I can remake them. Highly recommend doing so. I also want to say this is an amazing Christmas or holiday gift if you want to give someone something that they can really use. A gift of food is great, and this is a really fun gift for anyone who wants to cook at home who might be new to a plant-based diet it's just awesome plus you can get a lot of gluten-free meals as well through green chef and if it's not a gluten-free meal they do list which items have wheat or soy in them so you can remove them so sometimes i don't even suggest to have an all gluten-free menu i just you know to go with the vegan box and then the items that have gluten in them i will remove and then make the regular meal for my husband so he's not missing out and it's how we work with things make Make sure you check Green Chef out by clicking the link down in the description box below. I put it right in the front so you cannot miss it. He said it's perfect for the holidays. And when you try them out, make sure you tag me over on Instagram and let me know what you think because I know there's so many meals to pick from. I think there's eight meals each week to pick from and you're going to love them. So enjoy and let's get on to trying this meal out. normally try dishes out but I gotta be honest with you I'm about to do like a little bit of a bulk kind of meal prep and this is dinner for tonight I'm gonna eat this and then continue on with my cooking and I gotta be honest it smells too good to let it sit so we're gonna try it I love everything about Green Chef I love that it comes directly to my door I love that I can recreate these meals at home there's nothing of sheer specialty that I can't find at my local grocery store or substitute to when I'm recreating with the menus that they send like the recipe cards I love that every week when we do order these on specific times during the month, it's because we are needing something convenient, but also healthy and affordable. These are options for us that work better than going out to eat or getting to go food. They're so tasty and they're easy to whip up because of course I love being in my kitchen. So even on long busy days, wow, I give this a 20 out of 10. It's amazing. This bean mix with a little bit of spice, and then the mole on the carrots, super, super good. If you don't love spicy, you can tone it down a little bit or omit it altogether. But the flavors here are wonderful. And if you're wondering, now I don't have guacamole on here. It does come with guacamole. Like I said, with the gluten option, sometimes I'll just select the meals that they have. My husband loves guacamole. I personally can't tolerate it. So he gets double guacamole tonight when he gets home and he will be thrilled for that because he's a huge guac fan. Whereas for me, I just took a few extra of the tomatoes. So come on, let's get into the next recipe in today's dinner recipe video. Okay, tonight's dinner is going to be a quick 10 minute 
Let's get it in the oven. Let's get it on the table. So this is something you can make obviously with any kind of wraps that you have on hand, any kind of vegetable, any kind of beans, but I'm just going to share with you the quickest meal under the sun. So I am using these gluten-free spinach and herb wraps that are vegan. I got these on sale and I used my Fetch Rewards and I got a thousand points back on these. So definitely worth it if you can find them. Plus, if you can find Ibotta or Fetch Rewards, game changer. A large zucchini that has been hanging out in my fridge a little too long that needs used up. It's getting a little wilty. I also have some random Trader Joe's fat-free refried beans, some hot sweet jalapenos also from Trader Joe's. They're amazing. If you like spicy and sweet, oh, so good. And then I also have some mild salsa and let's whip this up. It's going to be good. We got a carb. We got a protein from the beans. We have some veggies. Perfect dinner. Let's go. One thing I constantly remind myself when making these types of videos is that this is for complete inspiration. What works for me and my husband doesn't always work for everyone. We're all in different seasons of life and what is convenient for me and affordable for me might not be the same for you, but on nights when I'm working really long, just really long days in general and I'm coming home really late at night, if I can get something that is delivered to my door or instead of making a tortilla, I can buy a pre-made tortilla. Instead of making my own beans, I'm buying a can of beans. Those simple actions not only help with keeping this lifestyle easy for me, but it also feeds my soul at the end of the day. I'm still in my kitchen doing the things that I love to do, which is cooking and filming and sharing ideas and inspiration, but it also feeds me in a way that keeps me fueled and keeps me going with my very busy lifestyle. Like I said, this video is just for complete inspiration because I know we all live different lifestyles, but if you can take a couple of recipe ideas away for your family, that is all I am aiming to do. Can you tell me by looking at this what I am making for tonight's dinner? It's a corn chowder and it's gonna take like 15 minutes. Basically have to throw it together. I'm cheating by using canned potatoes instead of regular potatoes, canned corn, onion, a little bit of garlic. I grabbed some garlic cloves at the grocery store earlier this week, so I have those instead of minced garlic, but you could definitely use whatever you have on hand. Paprika, a little bit of salt, and then to give it a ton of flavor, I'm gonna use this Baja roasted corn blend with black beans, onions, corn, chilies, red and green peppers. You just throw it in a pot. Well, first you have to blend a little bit. You have to put some things in your food processor. Don't worry, I'll show you. But literally, a fantastic corn chowder in like 15 minutes. Perfect weeknight recipe. This was by far my favorite recipe that we had over the last couple weeks. I've made this now twice. The first time I made it was just like a trial and error. The second time I filmed it, I put one and a half cans of corn and one can of potatoes, both drain and rinse, and then my garlic in my food processor with about a quarter cup of water, blended it up. You can also use your Vitamix or high-speed blender. It'll make it a little bit smoother. It doesn't bother me that it's a little bit chunky. If you want it to be completely smooth, I would use a high-speed blender or a Vitamix. Put that into a hot pot, and then go ahead and add your frozen corn. I like to reserve a little bit extra of the canned corn. That's why I only do a can and a half, but I add that with my seasonings and about another cup of water you can add as much or as little water as you want but it will start to really thicken which you want a thick corn chowder but it gets really really thick because of the potatoes and then I drain and rinse my second can of potatoes chop them just roughly really quickly on my cutting board throw those in and then just heat this up it literally takes like two minutes to blend everything and then about five minutes for me on my gas stove to heat everything up and it's perfection. It makes wonderful leftovers. If you have some gluten-free toast, toast that, have it on the side, have it with some gluten-free crackers or whatever your preference is, but it's so good. I can't wait to hear what you think. Oh, by the way, bird's eye veggies and um, the Green Giant brand both have this kind of Baja corn blend, so you should be able to find some brand of it in your local grocery store. If not, you can just use green chilies and some black beans to substitute.
This dish is number one for convenience. These little packets of marsala are so good. I find them at my local grocery store. When they're on sale, I usually grab them. They're amazing. And then I bulk it up with some rice or mashed potatoes, noodles, and some kind of veggie. Tonight, we're gonna do rice, zucchini, and throw it in the Instant Pot. These are amazing. If you are new to a plant-based diet or have friends and family that don't eat plant-based, try this out. They're going to love it. As many of you know, my husband is plant-based by proxy. We like to joke because I do all the cooking and he eats whatever. He's not picky at all. And you've probably heard me say a few times he grew up vegetarian. So it's a very easy transition for our family. But all I did was throw some zucchini in a pan with a little bit of water. I don't cook with oil. There is a little bit of oil in these packets. That doesn't bother me. It's just not something that I cook with generally I use water instead for convenience options I will take this over anything else because it tastes so good it does have potatoes and mushrooms in it it's nice and thick and hearty and has a wonderful flavor to it like I said if you find these at your local store make sure to grab a couple because this dinner comes together in like five minutes and then like I said you can put it over rice or mashed potatoes or even noodles it's so good look how beautiful this sauce is it's nice and hearty and you have some veggies in with it it's the perfect weeknight dinner for us because it can come together in you know 15 minutes I can throw some rice in I can chop a veggie throw it on the skillet and it's nice and filling and wholesome which is perfect for a busy weeknight dinner So I have to ask, do you guys know what Skyline Chili is? If you are from the heartland, Skyline Chili is from Cincinnati, Ohio, and my husband grew up on it and he loves it. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to make my own version, but I don't put the raw onions or the shredded cheese on the top. Obviously, I don't eat cheese. You could do either of those. You could even do a plant-based or a vegan cheese. I don't like vegan cheeses. I think I've tried everyone under the sun and I'm just not a fan, so I leave that off. And my husband's not a big fan either, so that's fine. And raw onion, I feel like, is hit or miss. Some people love it, some people hate it. But Skyline Chili is this restaurant from Cincinnati, Ohio, and I believe they're in Kentucky, Indiana, and Ohio only. I could be wrong about those states, but literally it's spaghetti with chili on top, or you can even do a corn dog. Personally, I've never actually had the restaurant, but my husband, like I said, grew up with it. He really loves it. So I try to recreate things that I know he really loves, and all I did was make some chili with some wonderful seasoning, and then boil some gluten-free pasta, and this meal was ready in like seven minutes, because all I had to do is blend up some some tomatoes, add whatever canned beans and goodies I had in the cupboard to make a quick chili. I have been obsessed with soups and chilies and it's not even that cold out. I feel like it's just the time of year. I just really want good comfort food. But try this out. It, yes, you do spaghetti on the bottom and then you do the chili on the top. It's really, really delicious. Let me know if you've ever had this. I recently shared a similar recipe to this over on my Instagram and I missed getting the ingredients so I'm showing you a picture really quick but it's just rice noodles, tahini, pineapple and then I used a really delicious sriracha sauce. It was amazing. I'll show it here in a little bit but if you can find it at your local grocery store, highly recommend. All I'm doing is making a really quick sauce to go with some stir fry veggies and rice noodles. It literally takes about six minutes to throw together. I even just put the stir fry veggies into the microwave just really quickly to defrost them and then I'm good to go. I love convenient meals on busy days and if they have a lot of flavor, that's even a bigger benefit.
Saturday morning and we have just had the busiest morning I feel like ever. We were packing and organizing and just doing so many things to get ready to move. And you're probably thinking, what, what's going on? Well, if you guys haven't followed me, you know, for the past year, we did purchase a home. It's a new build. It's been started for the past couple months. And no, we don't have an exact closing date yet, but we have been told we're ahead of schedule. We have our like paperwork with our closing date. Um, so we're kind of nearing the end. And the reason we were kind of packing and doing things this morning is because we really truly only have weekends to kind of work on that kind of stuff. But so I've been very busy. However, I wanted to go ahead and make a couple like breakfast, snack, um, kind of dessert things. And I thought I would include that at the end of this video just to kind of share. Hopefully it'll be helpful for you guys in case you have made these things before and have it in a while. It'll kind of remind you that you may like them or if it's new recipes to you, then you have something new to enjoy with your family. And of course, as always, you can swap out ingredients for whatever you have on hand. But I'm gonna share with you two quick recipes. So let's get started. All right, so I have a whole bunch of bananas here that are screaming banana bread. So it's the first thing we're gonna make. And this is gonna be gluten-free. If you are not gluten-free, go ahead and swap out for just regular all-purpose flour. I'm using one-to-one -one all purpose gluten-free flour. And if you hear sneezing, that's my little chihuahua. He's like walking down the hallway, sneezing a ton. So I apologize, but also not because he's so cute that it's just adorable. All right, got and I got everything all set up here. I'll give you a rundown of what I have and then I'll type it down in the description box below. But I have a large bowl. I have five ripe bananas, three cups of gluten-free one-to-one flour, some vanilla. I borrowed this from a friend. It's the real live vanilla, not the imitation, because then it's gluten-free. Thank you guys for your tips. I have some pecans I'm going to sprinkle on the top. I do have an egg replacement that I'm going to use. I'll use two servings of this to replace two eggs. You can also do a chia egg or a flax egg if you would like. Super easy, simple. You can Pinterest that if you would like. Some salt, baking powder and baking soda if you're wondering i used recyclable jars and then i keep them apart by like the container usually this one's in like a stocky box and this one's in a container similar to this so i don't bother labeling them because i'm the only one that uses them and i don't get them mixed up some chocolate chips these are the lily's dark chocolate vegan and well they're dairy free um i guess so a lot of vegan people use them. They're dairy-free and they are gluten-free. And then I have some cane sugar from Trader Joe's. And that is what we're going to use for this recipe. Banana bread is my husband's like favorite, like all-time favorite. But if you are someone who's like allergic to bananas, because I actually know a lot of my viewers are, that's like a common thing. Um, it can happen later in life where you just have a allergy to bananas. I think it's related to um latex but i'm not actually sure so don't quote me on that but he loves banana bread if you can't have banana you could substitute for pumpkin cooked sweet potato you could do a squash you could do a yellow squash you could which you don't normally think of as like a sweet thing but it's a great replacement zucchini uh butternut squash anything at all that kind of has the same texture as a banana these are so ripe I'll wash my hands and be right back. We're going to smash these really quickly and then add the sugar, the vanilla, and get it all whipped up. The one thing I really like about banana bread is it's a one bowl thing. I don't have to pull out any uh, blender or anything. Everything is just good to go. I typically don't also measure like salt, baking soda, stuff like that. I know that bothers some people um, to not have it measured, but I go by eyeballing it. I feel like that's fine. I, it, it's not like I'm a professional baker or this is something that like is professional, but I do use one teaspoon of both baking soda, soda and baking powder. I only use a half cup of sugar. If you are someone who is trying to cut back sugar, you could do maple syrup. You could do a like stevia blend if you want. That's totally up to you. But I like mixing that with my bananas first. And then the egg replacement, I do have to mix up with some water, so I will be right back. If you haven't used this, it's pretty good. You can definitely do without it if you are on a budget. Just do chia seeds or flaxseed. It's a little bit more inexpensive. All right, went ahead and got my flour all mixed there. And I did add about a quarter cup of water. You can add water or milk just in case it's not moist enough. Um, I find that if my bananas are a little bit smaller than normal, I have to add a little bit of liquid. But it's nice and cakey. I'm going to add in the chocolate chips. 
And then the um, pecans or pecans, however you guys say it, let me know in the comments below. Do you say pecan or pecan? My husband says pecan, I say pecan. And I'm gonna sprinkle that on the top. Okay, the next one is going to be a pumpkin like superfood bite. I'm really excited about this one because this one's perfect for me as a snack or when I'm running or after I'm running. So I'm going to use some chia seeds. I have about four tablespoons, a little bit of vanilla. I am going to put some of this veggie protein in because I have it in my cupboard, but you can completely eliminate this if you want to and use cocoa powder or just not use it at all. I have it on hand, so I am using it. Two cups of Quick oats, I like quick oats because I feel like the texture is really good with these, but you can use whatever you'd like. A can of pumpkin puree. Make sure it's the pure pumpkin, not the pumpkin pie filling because that one's full of sugar. And then of course, some more chocolate chips. I'm just gonna use those up, hence why the lid is gone. Mix these in a bowl and they'll be delicious. Okay, all mixed up and it's looking perfect texture wise. You want it to be sticky enough to roll into a ball, but not so sticky that it's like all over your hands. Obviously you're gonna get a little bit on your hands, but I'm gonna roll these out and then pop them in the refrigerator. These are so delicious. I hope you give them a try. And honestly, you can make them with any ingredients. You could do bananas, you could add some maple syrup to sweeten it. You could do sweet potatoes instead of pumpkin, whatever, it doesn't matter. And they are so versatile and you could add coconut. I've made these so many times on my channel and shared them on Instagram. So just make them however you like, but they're great breakfast or snack or dessert, which is what we're gonna kind of have them for today. I quickly want to say thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did and you liked how many recipes were shared in today's video, let me know in the comments below if you found this helpful or inspiring or encouraging. I will probably do a weeknight's dinner recipe video like this once a month with 10 to 15 recipes. I'll even put desserts and breakfast ideas. If you like that, so let me know in the comments below. But like I said, any of the recipes that are something that you need to follow like the dessert breakfast snacky things and a couple of the dinner recipes will be typed out in the description box below make sure you are subscribed so you never miss a video from me next thursday's video of course is i'm gonna just say it, it's a budget video and you won't want to miss it so make sure your notifications are turned on and you are subscribed and i will see you next week Bye bye